Ladies, welcome to a special Halloween edition of the Sonic R Show. I am Sonic Remix, and tonight with me, I got uh, my lovely co-founder, Angelidia. Hi. Got a Dust in the Wind. How's everybody doing tonight? You got Kevin. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. And we got Lucas. Huh? Wait, who are you talking about? Wait, what? No. What? Uh, what? What? Oh, hi, Sonic. <laughs> um, it's, it's Sonic. Wait, did, who's this over here? Oh, wait. That's Sonic the Cosplayer. <laughs> ah! It's so awesome. Special oh. Halloween edition. We got two Sonics for the price of one. Woo! Great. Episode. So which one's the imposter? Well, I can also break out the other head if we need that too. <laughs> I'm surrounded by Sonics. This is like came... my fantasy. <laughs> Sonic the Cosplayer came prepared. You came prepared, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> now we get the, uh, what was it? The, the rock eyebrow. Oh, yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is so that is so wicked cool that really is you got such a cool costume i love it Thank you. all right I'm glad, go ahead I'm glad y'all like mine so there you go yeah you're both awesome i got two sonics on the show Woo! Think all I'm right gonna... Time for our week in review. So, Angelidia, what have you been up to this week? Uh, nothing much, uh, except that Monday it was raining, so um, I took advantage of uh, doing delivery that day because nobody wants to go outside when it's raining. Of course they don't. <laughs> and uh, that's probably about it. That's about it. You got <laughs> yeah. any plans? Okay, you got any plans for Halloween this weekend? Um, I'm not really much into Halloween. I'm much more of like into Christmas, so and Thanksgiving because of food, free food. Yeah, I can see. I can see good that. Good priority. <laughs> good priorities to have yeah. right there. Very good. I respect that. Which, yeah, in which my dad ex uh, like it, it explained why my dad told me you like because like I know a lot of uh, like restaurants in in LA, and so my dad is, he's to say he should think about food like twenty four. Seven <laughs> like yeah, probably yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, Dust, what have you been up to this week? Oh, same old, same old. We've been preparing for a very, very busy Halloween weekend. Oh yes, oh. <laughs> got a lot going on just this whole weekend, not just Halloween day. It's like it's like my Halloween is like a three day fun. Oh, test. nice. Oh yeah. So, Gotta... I, I, what, 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 what are your on your plans for Halloween this weekend? The first thing is, of course, I'm gonna be. Uh, I might. I'm gonna attempt to head over to uh, the local boardwalk. They got themselves a haunted house. You know, I can't stay Ooh. away from those. <laughs> I can't stay away from those. Um, but afterwards, I am doing a. Uh, a live stream with some horror games on my personal channel. I'm gonna just have some fun, some spooks and scares, as well as possibly the Halloween song. Hint, hint, a wink, wink. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I have been up to. All right. And what my plans are. Cool. Awesome. Kevin, what have you been up to this week? Oh, anime week in Atlanta starting tomorrow, and I'm so excited! Uh, it's like my local con because I live 15 minutes away from the venue, and I, you know, I missed it because, hey, you know, 2020 happened, but it, it's back this year, and I'm so happy. I think going to be a fun weekend. Well, I know what your Halloween plans are. <laughs> yep, yeah, that, that's a... It used to be in September, and then they moved to the whole Halloween weekend. <laughs> awesome. All right, Lucas, Sonic, what have you been up to this week? Oh boy, where do I even begin? 
Well, like Kevin, I'm also going to a con this weekend. However, unlike Kevin, I'm going to a different con, Fanboy, Ex Fanboy Expo in Knoxville. Which is about like an hour away from where I live, and oh boy, it's going to be awesome. Amazing. And that's basically my Halloween plan for this year, apparently. So we have two people going to cons this weekend. Awesome. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to turn to our guest for this week, Sonic the Cosplayer. What have you been up to this week, and what are your plans for this Halloween weekend? Well, um, funny enough, to, even though what I do, Halloween usually has nothing to do with Sonic whatsoever. It's usually just I dress up as something scary or something punny. Like, very, very punny when it comes to that type of thing. But, <laughs> like, you know, it's something where it's uh, like, a, uh, like a dad joke costume. That's... <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh, those are the best. It's because I'm so, like, 95% of the time whenever I do dress up. But, you know, Halloween is like the one time I... <laughs> Just I literally don't do Sonic whatsoever. However, that did change once when I was Sonic EXE because I felt like that was very appropriate. Oh yeah. But um, as far as what I've been up to this week, other than work, trying to figure out, I did come up with a interesting idea for a quick costume for Halloween, uh, but it, it it partially fell through. Uh -oh. As I was gonna do, have you seen those um? Uh, what's it? Those uh, those Venom cosplays where it's like they have a uh, a Venom symbiote here. So oh like, yeah, oh, I remember those. It, it, their jacket's down, but their their arm is the Venom symbiote. I was gonna have that, but it was gonna be Sonic. So it was gonna be like a <laughs> Venom symbiote, but it's gonna have spikes on it and slightly. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. You can't just do normal Sonic stuff. It has to be, as you can tell, very clearly. Everything has to be matched with something else. Yeah. <laughs> well, Venom happens to be the one of the most popular cosplays ever, and it's the Carnage. I know they have one for Carnage as well, right? Yeah, I think they have a. a there's a T-shirt of like a Sonic Venom and a Knuckles Carnage. Oh, <laughs> gee, I wonder what tails are gonna be. <laughs> oh wow. Oh, so I guess it's down to me. What have I been up to this week? Um, well, mostly this week I've been working as always, but this time I had uh, my mom riding along with me because she loves being able to ride along with me and see all the places I get to deliver to because being able to deliver to rich people's houses is uh, nothing short of amazing. Just like you, you go in there and every time I go into a rich neighborhood, I feel like white trash. So... <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah I'm gonna ask today. <laughs> oh gosh um, oh and today uh, I was so excited because uh, Star Trek Prodigy has started on Paramount Plus today and uh, I'm, a, I'm a big Star Trek fan and uh, like uh, Star Trek Prodigy is a kids animated show and uh, the fact that uh, Captain Janeway is back as a hologram but still she's back and it's awesome, and I love it. It was so good. Uh, the writing, I would say, I, I would compare the writing to, say, Avatar The Last Airbender or Korra uh, as far as the quality of the writing is concerned. So uh, anyone concerned about, you know, Star Trek being a, a kid's show, don't worry. It, it looks like it's in good hands. So. Uh, yeah, no. Korra, I feel like, would make it in good hands. <laughs> so that's going on with me this week uh this weekend is actually a super 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 huge weekend for me because uh as some of y'all may know i am a practicing pagan so uh halloween is like the pagan new year for us and um so i'm gonna be super super busy on sunday with uh, uh rituals and stuff like that with uh the halloween and uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna have a lot of fun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy it, enjoy it. So, nice. so yeah. Uh, 
I got my altar all set up right behind me. I got, I got you can't see it because it's all facing the way, but I got photos of uh, my uh, grandparents and my dad. Um, they 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 passed away, you know, many many years ago. And I got them on my altar the re as a remembrance. Um, so yeah, Halloween is huge for for me, and I, I can't wait. So. That, that's my Halloween plans for this weekend. Nice. Oh, I'm sure like, here. I'm like a fun time. Yeah. Uh, okay. I believe there's only one news topic for today. I like if we're running um, really behind on time. Yeah. yeah. And I, I believe uh, Lucas was going to uh, cover it, but I don't know. Can can. People are having trouble hearing you right now, dude. <laughs> oh, really? People are? <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, I, I can step in and, and, and do that real quick. So, yeah, uh, Humble Bundle uh, released uh, a huge collection of Sonic games as part of the 30th anniversary. It's, I believe it's like $10 to get you 13 games, which is a pretty, pretty, pretty big deal. Right. Yeah. But of course, oh, I got okay. everything Sonic already myself, so. <laughs> yeah, that's what yeah, I do. Yeah. It for, cause I get tagged in it every single time the Humble, Humble Bundle comes out for Sonic, and I'm like, guys, guys, I have it all, but you should buy it. You should buy every single one of these games. <laughs> so apparently, like, it, like, like, normally it would cost like $255, but if you don't, so like, if you don't just $1, you can basically just get all games for Steam. Yep. Which is a great deal. So yeah, I can pick up the game. There, there you go. Um, alrighty, so I believe we are ready to move on to our guest. Is that right, Shane? Oh, yeah. And uh, let's, uh, before we get any further, let's mention for those who are watching, you, yeah, we, got, we do got the gospel contest going on today. Uh, I We posted information in the Discord a discussion chat. We got a big, we got a thread dedicated for you to post your uh, cosplay photos into. Uh, winners are going to get a special prize from us, which we will reveal towards the end of the night. Uh, but until then, try to get your your post uh, your pictures posted, and don't forget, please do not forget when you post your pictures of your cosplay, please have a sign that says "Happy Halloween, the Sonic R Show." Because just so you know, like, right, I think, you know, before so, before, before so started, we had issues with people not posting the sign. Please do that. And in addition, you can find that thread under the channel Sonic R Show Discussion. It will say Hol Sonic R Halloween uh, sh Showcase. It's, of course, not showing the whole thing, but it's, it's right under the, the Sonic R Discussion channel. Which uh, I yeah. started, by the way. So thank you for that, Lucas. Yes, thank you, Lucas. Okay. okay. So Shane, are we ready to move on to our guest? Yes. Let's let's talk about our guest for tonight. Our special guest for tonight is the one and only Sonic cosplayer who has built some very impressive cos cosplays, like the one he's wearing tonight, which is it's just so awesome just being able to see the mouth moving and the eyebrows, and that's just so amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that is very, very, very creative. Yeah. So, John's a cosplayer. Welcome to the program. So, why don't, uh, for those that um, don't know who you are, why don't you introduce yourself? Uh-oh. Uh oh, yeah. we oh, no. we're losing sound. Oh, no. Yeah, we're losing audio. Oh, oh, hold on. But did you did it, were you able to hear my question? Yes. Oh, All right, there okay. you are. You're yeah, good. Yeah, there you you're are. Good. I'm good. Yeah, you're yeah, good. You're, you're good. good. You're good. Right. Go ahead, sir. All right, fantastic. Well, um, if the name doesn't uh, already kind of imply what I do, <laughs> um. <laughs> I, uh, I'm a Sonic cosplayer who cosplays other things <laughs> as Sonic. So if Sonic was real and he cosplayed, that'd be me. So I am at, what am I at, 31 now? 31 cosplays. 
2020. Wow. 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 Impressive. So it's, you can see it behind me a little bit. I have Captain America, Sonic, Ghostbuster, Tracer, Link. And then uh, there's my... Oh, hang on. I don't want to roll over anything. One moment. Hang on. Okay. The Thanos glove. The Thanos glove. Teddy gauntlet. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. nice. This is <laughs> one of my favorite things I've ever created. That, that's great. So, um, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh no, that that was that was the um was more of a um. <laughs> it was more of an. <laughs> it was more of an um. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, so um, how did you get into Sonic, and how did you get into the community? Well, uh, 1991. I was five, and my parents gave me a Sega Genesis with Sonic 1 for Christmas. And it's been this ever since. <laughs> All right. So what was your first uh, cosplay that you created? Um, well, actually, my first cosplay was actually Jack from Jack and Daxter. So, if you ever want to see my actual face, it's around there on the internet somewhere. I'm one of the Jacks. <laughs> oh, oh, classic. Um, uh, I see the, I've seen your face before. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, um... Yeah, and then I just, uh, my original one was made, uh, it was a combination of my mom, and, um, because she kind of knew a little bit of it, so that was about, uh, technically, I think in about a month is my 10-year anniversary. Oh, well, congratulations. So I'm going to make myself a cake or something. There you go. <laughs> so what, what card play have you made or are you the most proud of? Oh. Oh. Uh... <laughs> I'm looking at my closet. You can't see the closet, but it's there. Okay. Um, it's like picking a favorite child. It's kind of hard. Know, know. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. It's not necessarily something I can like put down to one, but I can break them into categories. Like sure. my favorite pun right. is Superman Sonic, just because I'm Super Sonic and I don't have to change a single thing about the costume. Whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> Very practical. And I say, and the S stands for Sonic. It's just everyone gets it. And they're like, oh, we got it. And then they... Um, Perfect time. That's definitely my favorite pun one. My favorite prop one... Yeah, definitely has to be probably Ghostbuster. That's just... It, it lights up. It, when you turn it on, it makes the Ghostbuster noise. And it says Sega. And it's just... it's. It's easily my one of my favorite props. Oh, that's um, awesome. Oh, wonderful. And then I think my... Uh, I want to say the most popular one... Um, why am I drawing a blank? I was like, like I said, I have like 30. Hang on, hang on. I know there's one... <laughs> Oh, that's right. It doesn't unlock with my face. My face doesn't read. <laughs> <laughs> it's only if you take the head off. <laughs> go with... I think my most popular one was Eggman Sonic. Oh. <laughs> that's an interesting Everybody, idea. everybody got it. Then after Infinity War came out, I did the bags of sand as Sonic or as Tails, Knuckles, and Shadow, and I had gray or I had red sand and red glitter, and then I had orange sand and then black sand as the dusted members of the fandom. <laughs> and I had my <laughs> Chaos Gauntlet with me, and <laughs> everybody was like, hey, "It's just a snake man. What's that in his hand?" And then you just saw jaws like. What? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Oh, my God. That is so, impressive. 
So my my last question would be, uh, what is your dream cosplay? What is one cosplay you've always wanted to make but haven't done so yet? As Sonic the Cosplayer, probably... Actually, I do have a list of that, too. <laughs> I... Oh, no, it's in here. There it is. Um... Yeah, I haven't done it yet as Sonic, but um, it's uh, Urkel from Family Matters. Oh, <laughs> oh that's so good. Oh, that's so good. Oh, okay. as as, uh, I'm a super hyper at a 90s cosplay, as in, like, is he Urkel? Is he? Oh, wait, he's the voice of Sonic. Oh, wait, whatever. And then it just, it just kind of go down from there. Uh, my second one is one of those ones where I I'm hoping I don't get like yelled at for wearing. Uh, I want to do Moses Sonic. Oh! oh, 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 oh. I want to have the book of Genesis, and it's like a book of like Ten Commandments that I want like Sonic fans to be like, "Thou shall not like tweet angrily at set on at <laughs> Sega.com." <laughs> <laughs> the Ten Commandments of Sonic Twitter. I love yes. that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, the detail is just marvelous. A big, book, a big phone book, and it'll just be the book of, and it'll just have a picture of a Sega Genesis. And then just carry that around with me. But as far as non cosplay, the, the number one thing I've always wanted to make is Mecha Sonic. From, oh, that, oh well, that would be man. hardcore. Like, the roboticized Sonic from the Archie comic. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Yes! Yeah. You yeah. need to do that. That's like, I, I, I don't know why. I have a bit of an obsession with Mecha Sonic. Yeah, that's my, um, that's my, if I was Tony Stark, that's what I would make. I'd make one of those. Yes! <laughs> that's what he'd make if Sonic was, if Sonic was Iron Man. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Like if I was if, if you roboticize Sonic the cosplayer, that's kind of how I'd play that out. <laughs> uh, you, I would love to see a picture of it. I I, I I love the creativity in that. So um, I will see if any if any of our other um, other people on the show have any questions. Uh, starting with the the say, do you have any questions for Sonic the cosplayer? Yeah, I actually do this time. <laughs> Usually I don't have any question, but this one I do. So I mean, out of out of the the um, the the props or the costume, which one um, have took you the longest to make? Ooh, it's it's actually kind of an interesting thing. Um, when I first started this, I knew uh, nothing. I was the Jon Snow of the Sonic community. Um, but I um. Some things behind me have look more in depth, but I knew what I was doing, so it was allowing me to do it faster. <laughs> so in terms of that, I'd probably say Tracer, which is that one. <laughs> so because I had it was it was my first time sewing anything, so I had to sew the whole bomber jacket thing together, and then the whole harness for the chaos accelerator that I made, and the whole. So, yeah, easily that was definitely the longest one. That took a few weeks to actually get together. Like, Ghostbuster looks difficult, but that was actually 90% done because it was just a camping backpack that I ripped apart. Everything else was just like, this goes here, this goes here, this goes here. Because that's one of the other problems is that I can't just Google whatever I'm doing. So I'm like, oh, let's, I'm going to make a Sonic Ghostbuster backpack. Cool. Google it. It doesn't exist. So I have no method to follow, no tutorial, no nothing. So I'm just like, all right, I, this looks like this. And I'll, I'll stare at a costume for so long to figure out how to put Sonic to something. And you said you had a second question to do today? No, no. Okay. Uh, how about you, you Dash? 
Um, yeah, so they said, um, it kind of goes off of what Ravisa just said of which one took you the longest. Was there any of them that was a true challenge? Like, what was the most challenging one to actually make? What was the most challenging proper cosplay? Whatever you want to, whichever one of the two you want to put out here was the hardest one for you to make. Honestly, what I'm wearing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I can see that, yeah. Back to yeah, no, this is the longest thing it's ever taken me to make. <laughs> this thing. In terms of props. Yeah. Easily the longest thing. <laughs> I I can see that easily. Uh, I can I can definitely oh, yeah. see that. Uh how about you, Lucas? Oh boy. Um first off first off, I remember there's a story I wanna tell you. Um we first met at Fan Jam like years ago. And Tracy Yardley was there, and I thought that the best way to um, disguise yourself without without having without having a head on is just. So what happened was I asked Tracy Yardley to borrow his glasses and have you wear them for about a minute or two, and um, and then you're like, oh, oh crap, my this is making me sick. Like take them off, and we <laughs> and I gave them back to Tracy Yardley. I don't know if you remember that story. I do, I do remember the glasses thing, yeah. But yeah, um, and oh, 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 also the Eagles here. Hi there. Hey, welcome, Hello, welcome, Eagles. Eagles. Everybody Hi. welcome, Eagle, to the show. I'm so sorry. Um, that is okay. I had technical, I had technical, technical difficulties, but um, I was because I was sitting here because I did something special for the show. I wish I would have not had computer troubles. If I can just, I can't see. All right. That's okay. Everyone's been having technical difficulties. We actually started Hello. like ten minutes yeah. late today. It's been yeah. technical yeah. difficulties yeah. tonight. Let's see. So, I, I, I'm, I'm oh! 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 Yeah. Oh! Awesome. Let's all give a nice virtual round of applause for Eagle. That's, that's great. I worked really hard on this. I prepped for like three days for this, man. <laughs> so I need I need to put my glasses on. I cannot see a thing. No, no, don't right here. That freaked me out, God. dude. Okay. I wonder what's even more freaky. Eagle's costume or the fact that it's two Sonics? <laughs> that's my <laughs> scholar gentleman. <laughs> so, very good. Okay, so here's my actual question. Um, Last time we met, I think it was at last year's Sonic Revo, you had a fursuit. Um, and I asked you if you plan on going to any furry cons. So now I ask again, have you been to any furry cons wearing the Sonic costume? And if so, which ones? Well, um, <laughs> so I, um, once I built this thing, COVID happened. <laughs> yeah. Right. Of course. Yeah. Anywhere. That's changing. October? November. No, wait, no, December. Uh, I will be at Holiday in Matsuri in Orlando, which is a holiday themed convention, and I'll be Santa Sonic in this new suit. So I'll be able to actually interact, talk, and whatnot in the new suit. So I'll be finally back to conventions, or at least this year, I'll be finally back. So at the current moment, I would love to go to. Uh, there's a one in Orlando. That's is... MegaCon, I believe. Yep, and then there's uh, there's one in Atlanta, and then there's one in Ohio. Uh, the one in Atlanta, I so you're talking about Furry Week in Atlanta. The one in Ohio, I don't know. There is one in Pittsburgh called AnthroCon, which that I is... would Pittsburgh. Oh, I think so. <laughs> Pittsburgh, Ohio, and yeah. Come to um, Revo. Well, well, yeah, that's not a first con. That, that's obviously a. That's oh yeah. Are you kidding me? That's the first. Ooh. As soon as that physical place again, I am so gonna be there. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, no. bro, you need to, you need to come for sure. <laughs> as soon as soon as this is. Uh, as Sonic Revo becomes a physical place again, I'm all on there. All plane tickets. Uh, we, we'd love to have you back. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I've. Oh, I miss. I miss Sonic Boom. I miss Summer or Sonic. We're trying to get Summer Sonic was a little far, but. <laughs> I've. Uh... Don't forget Fan Jam. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
I, I, I just... I can only imagine what would happen if I was at a Sonic convention and just stood there. I wouldn't have to talk to anybody. Just stand there and just absorb this and everything. I would just take in the sights and the sounds. <laughs> to just be there in just general. Be like, like oh, this is okay. No, I would, just like it's in Fan Jam, all I did was just sit there and just sit, sit at my table and just stare at everybody. I was like, this is the most amazing thing ever. <laughs> Every single There's a person drinking, and I'm excited that that person is drinking. <laughs> Everything is <laughs> uh, Shane, did we want to go to your question, or did we want to start with, with Eagle? Okay, yeah. Uh, you know what? Let's uh, let Eagle ask a question about for Sonic the Cosplayer. Yeah, uh, uh, Eagle, you, what, do you have a question for Sonic the Cosplayer? Um, I guess I can think of um a couple things. Uh, so I'm gonna try to think of like one real, really, really fast. Uh, so, um, do you, when you go to conventions and cosplay, um, how often do you try to get with other cosplayers? You mean like for photo shoots? Um, yeah, for that too, I guess. Like, how does that um normally work on your end? Um, I normally it's a loner thing um almost every single time i go to a convention i'm never usually with a group it's just me um but that's part of the fun thing is that i'm usually dressed to something where there's usually a big group like a lot of conventions i'll find out that there's a sailor moon group so i'm like cool i'm gonna bring tuxedo mask sonic and then i'm just gonna show up at their <laughs> their and like hey i'm part of this group and they absolutely they love it so and that happened, you know, that happened with Captain America Sonic. I ran into a Marvel group, and they were just it, it's DC with Superman Sonic, and it's I, I'm usually always I like a lot of the fandom. Obviously, I'm a huge Sonic fan, so that's obviously the top of it. But I'm a huge fan of a lot of fandoms, and it's nice to be uh happily welcomed into a lot of fandoms just 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 to see the the, the look on anybody's faces i mean it, it could be 70 they could be seven it doesn't matter like it's just they're just so excited to see sonic dressed as whatever their fandom is and they're just like this is this is it's not twitter like real life is not <laughs> in the sonic community like when everyone's like oh no, no the sonic community is negative i was like it's not it's not one of those things where i was like go on the side i mean it kind of is but it's one of those things where like i only see the the, the positive side of this community whenever i go out into this suit because like it doesn't matter like if you're at a convention or like an after party at a convention i haven't met a single person that hates sonic Everybody's like, no, 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 this is the most, this, this is, I love Sonic, I even remember playing this, this is the Genesis, and it's just, so a lot of times I go by myself just to join up with other people, and it, every single time, it, without fail, is probably the more, most positive part of, like, my life. That's awesome. That's just, like, amazing just to listen to and hear. And I, I'm glad you have such a positive experience. When you, you go out and do your Sonic cosplay, I've had at least one sort of negative experience when I was uh, out at SakuraCon in uh, Seattle, Washington one year. I was uh, I had signs for, you know, advertising for Sonic Revolution group. I actually had someone come and say, I'm surprised you, you guys are even showing your faces after what happened with Sonic Boom. <laughs> like, really? I... Again, like I said, I'm a huge fan of, of Jack and Daxter, so I actually do like Sonic Boom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, we, we got we got a lot of great respect for the uh the, the show writers too. So uh Bill Freiberger and Alan Denton and Greg Hahn and Sam Freiberger, we we love them all, so uh, the show is old mother Okay, yeah. I Jane, do you, do you have a question for Sonic the Cosplayer? I do, actually, because I, I know Sonic the Cosplayer is awesome from Florida, like I am. And I I, I always got to know how long you can tend to last in your cospl cosplay, uh, being where we are, uh, being, you know, in the depths of hell, so to speak. 
Well, you probably know things that don't miss besides being able to talk and move this and light up is there are fans built into this thing. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, nice. I have my share of conventions and my old suits in June and July, which <gasps> apparently is the only time I like to put conventions on, which is, oh, I want to strangle people sometimes with that. Right? <laughs> Not everybody is dressed skimpy. I... I'm dressed as a seven-foot cosplaying hedgehog. Please turn down the AC and put a convention on in February. But it can <laughs> <laughs> but I'll, I, I, I've made it through. I haven't died yet at the... Uh, which is hilarious because a lot of the raves won't let me in because they're in the suit. They're like, no, 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 no. You, you, could, you could pass out. You could suffocate. And I was like, dude, I've been in the suit for 13 hours. Okay, it's 104 degrees outside. It's July. Let me in. <laughs> <laughs> like you could uh, you, you could uh, overheat spare me the song and dance been there done that <laughs> right. no which yeah. what's also getting me is I'll, I'll walk into the convention or i'll walk into the raves and um you know a lot, a lot of the people in the, the florida con scene they know me but it's still one of those things where they're checking people left and right they're doing pat downs making sure nobody's bringing any weapons or drugs into the raves i walk in full suit now you're good I was like, you don't want to check out and give it in how much fucking I've got a lot of space in here, so it's like, you know. <laughs> okay. So are we ready to move on to the audience question, Shane? Yes, I believe we are ready to move on to the audience section. So guys uh, who are new to watching us, we have the audience participation section on our Discord. Uh, you go and jump in there and we will uh, meet up with you guys in a few minutes and we will explain the details of how audience Q&A works. So we'll see you guys in a few minutes. All right, guys, we're just uh, getting... All right. All right. Come on in, everybody. Come on in. Yes. Uh, we got a fun audience here tonight. Are we still on the cosplayer, and I think... Uh, let's see up there. He... Man, I still wish that stages had uh, video. video. <laughs> I know, man. It's, uh, hopefully. Hopefully soon. I spent so much time on this. <laughs> I know. Also, for this... And since because there's no video aspect, it's probably safe for me to just take the head off this one. Yeah. No. Uh, by the way, Sonic Pod Player, I did invite you to speak. If you see the bar at the top, uh, yeah. you click on accept. Yeah. As soon as he gets up on stage, we can, we can get started. We can get started. And also, Sonic the Cosplayer, uh, since there's no video aspect in the, um, <laughs> this is no video at all in stages, you, 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 you can take the head off because no one will see you. No, hold on, I just want to do it. Everyone just went quiet for a moment. I'm back. I'm back. I'm, I just had to. Yeah. I can't wait to see like some reaction. So how many people reacted to the fact that there were two songs in the stream? <laughs> a lot of folk up in the chat. Talking about that. A lot of folks were showing love for uh, for Eagle as well. Oh, did they? I didn't get to check the chat because my yeah. I I painted my nails for the first time and I'm scared to get them on anything. Oh my god, that's totally understandable. Completely understandable. Yeah. Also, that's oh my true. gosh. Michael said, "Dust, they're both the imposters." Yep, there, there, oh, there, there he is. Yay. There he is. There Hello. All right. So, are we ready to get started? 
I do yes. believe so. Let me just do a run quick down for you, uh, run down for you guys. Uh, our Sonic, our Q and A session. Uh, you're when we call you up on stage. Uh, you're allowed to ask us one question. Um, be sure you have your question ready to go because we we unfortunately don't have a lot of time for us to sit all night waiting for somebody to get their question out. And on top of that, um. Oh gosh, my mind just went blank all of a sudden. Uh, oh, 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 okay. Appropriate question. Yeah, no, please. no. If you no. Have an appropriate question, we will remove you from the stage and move on to the next person. Yeah, uh, we had, we kind of had a disaster last week, so we're trying not to repeat that again. So, uh, but other than that, as long as it's not inappropriate, you can ask us anything Sonic related. It could be uh, a lore question. It could be a question about the franchise. Uh, what are thoughts about the community, so forth and so on, and or even questions you know directed at the guests themselves. So, with that being said, let's bring on our first person. The animation, animation fanatic. fanatic, come Hello, on, animation oh. fanatic, you are on the air. My hi, hello, hello there. Here's a question. Mm -hmm. Okay. What Favorite IDW Sonic cover. My favorite is issue twenty five from Tyson Hez. Oh, right. oh, wow! Uh, I'll, Very good I'll go in order. Uh, Sonic the uh, cosplayer. Uh, the, I'll start with you. I'll go from top to bottom. Yeah. Uh, oh man. Um. I'd say, God, what issue was it? What issue was the one um, that has Sonic and Shadow uh, flying at each other? I honestly um, don't know that one. I'm relatively new to the IDW comics. I mean, I've been a fan of them, but I never really got into them until now. But I'm guessing it's from either the first two sagas or the Metal Virus saga. I don't know. Yeah, I think it was the first two sagas, yeah. There it is. Number six. <laughs> oh, wow. Google is fast. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Anything Luke, you do, trust me. Sorry. Lucas, sorry. What, um, I'll move on to you next. All right. Well, first thing I was to say that anything you do, trust Google. Um, secondly, I don't know because I don't really pay attention much to IDW comics. So, oh boy, I may have to pass on this one because I I don't really pay attention much to any of the IDW comics. So, I'm gonna pass it on to uh, someone. I can relate to that, Lucas. I can totally relate to that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Since yeah. like I said before, until now, I never really got into them because I was more into the games at the time. I feel um, everybody. Okay, uh, Eagle. Uh, could you let me? Can you pass on me for a while? I'm actually quickly looking at them. Oh because sure. I know uh, that I remember. uh, yeah, Duck. Oh, this was a good one because it's. I I dare say if I had a if I had to pick one, it would probably be the cover of uh of IDW number forty three. Or the one where Sonic's like just messing with Zavok on top of his head. I just think that's hilarious. <laughs> oh yes, uh, I that. that was really funny. Oh, I actually yeah. own that cover. I actually own that cover. Like, that that is probably that one is probably my favorite of all of them. <laughs> yes, I, I <laughs> especially it's so funny. I especially like the look on Zavok's face. Just, <laughs> just like really, are we doing this again? We gonna do this again? <laughs> Honestly, Boy, if I have to choose my favorite cover that I do not own, it would have to be the one where it features everybody playing, I guess, a contest on the Dreamcast. Um, uh, Shane? Uh, oh. I don't know. If, I don't know. Maybe it was from issue 27. I don't know. Uh, so, oh. yeah. Um, so other than the fact that yeah, I think the funniest cover was what you know what was mentioned before was Zavok and Sonic, but 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 I think the one that stood stood out the most for me has to be I think I think it's from issue fourteen I could be wrong it's it's by it's by Diana Skelly 
And it's of uh, Amy leading uh, Sonic through a cave. But you see in the shadows in the background that Sonic's eyes are red with because he's been infected with the metal virus. Oh, yeah. Now, that one's a really good cover. I'm planning on getting that one. Um, I think the one that, um, if I were to go back to Miracle, it's because I just remembered. Um, I'm a little bit biased on this one, but it has to be specifically cover B from issue 33. Because that was Gigi's debut, I believe, when it came to covers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, what do you say? And, and and then I'll give mine. Um, I have to pass because um, I don't like I I can't get a um the latest issue of the comic book because the nearest comic book is like like fifteen miles away from here. Radius, so yeah, I, I can't answer that. Okay, at least from where I get my comics, I go. There's a comic store nearby, and they have a limited stock of them, so we usually get the first ones. I mean, there is a lot of comic book store, but the last com the, the nearest comic book store closed down like 20 years ago, and Aww. that was like in my hometown, and like so that was the yeah, it sucks. Uh, so, so 20 years ago, that means that was when Archie Sonic was still a thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Gone. Even to this day, I still can't remember the torture that some of the middle issues gave me. So, in regards to my answer, I really like number forty-five by Evan Stanley with the uh, with the girl taking a touch. That it was something different because it didn't have like the main 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 characters this time around. It had Amy and the and the more minor characters. So I, I really like the the different take on on that one. Yeah, I will admit, I do like the covers where they don't really show Sonic. I actually do own some of them. Like the one from the 20 issues. Like the one where SBO and one of the Deadly Six have a fight. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much for your question, uh, the well, animation. Thank tonight. you. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. See you next time. All right. Uh, going next on the list is Delta. All right. Del Whoa, sleep. Sorry, uh, sorry. Uh, I, I said reverse sleep. Okay. Okay. What? Hello. Uh, what's up? All right. What's good? How are y'all doing tonight? You got well, your Halloween well. costumes okay. and candy prepared to give out to the children? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Deliver it, one, sir. One question, question okay. right? Yes. Oh, yeah, one question. Yes, one question. All right, you got it. Um, Since, since I last asked the Halloween question last week, I'm going to ask another one because it's three days away from it. So, what kind of fav what favorite kind of candy... What kind of Halloween candy would the Sonic characters have for Halloween? Ooh, Ooh wow, wow. Okay. Oh, I'm going down to the Parkway. We'll start with you on that one. Oh, well, I'd imagine that any chili dog flavored jelly bean is probably <laughs> awful, but I can only imagine that Sonic would absolutely love that. Yep. Um, Always Sonic. Straight, straight uh -oh. out of the mean bean machine. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, Lucas, well, you're not. Which by the way, like Sega, whatever is 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 ever going to listen or is listening now or anything like that, I will tell you right now, a mean bean, jelly bean machine thing to buy like candy in a movie theater or a snack tray, I would buy it. Everybody in this thing would buy it. Oh yeah. We got it. Oh yeah. We got to ask uh, Jelly Bean Co Jelly Bean Company and Sega working on uh, that kind of thing. Yeah, uh, yeah, Sega and Jelly Belly working together that'd be amazing. Yeah, um, yes. Yeah, that'd, that'd be great. Um, oh gosh, um, you know, if you were to ask, uh, if you were to ask us what what our favorite Halloween candy is, it would be Skittles. But um, oh gosh, but for, for Sonic and characters, oh boy, um. Oh gosh, I mean, I have to go with jelly beans as well, as well. But um, have one based on colors of the different characters. Like Sonic is blue, Tails is yellow, Knuckles is red. Um, I go with like regular jelly beans basically, but like based on colors of of, of every character. Although I don't oh. know what Eggman's color would be. <laughs> Crimson red, I'm guessing. I thought that was Knuckles color anyway. Oh, no, uh, Knuckles is a bright red or just something like that. Oh, okay. Or just a plain I could be red. wrong. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with Jelly Beans as well. 
Um, okay. E Eagle? Uh, shoot. I... The, the only thing that came up, like, on the top of my head in terms of, like, what candy they would eat, uh... My only thought was that maybe, like, Tails, like, once again, would probably just, like, go Even for, like, mint. anything mint flavor. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Butter mint, mint uh, Andes. Probably, uh, Yorks. Probably. Uh, Andes are good. Yes. Yeah. Yorks mint. Like, Yorks. What about Fox okay. mints? Fox mints. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Um, okay. Duh. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd have to go with, as far as the Sonic, it would be, you know, either what y'all said. The jelly beans, or, or, I'm not sure if they have these around y'all's location, but they're like these, like, gummy rings. They're called peach rings. Yes! Yeah. I was going to say uh, that, too, actually. Yeah, peach rings. That's, that's what I was more thinking, like, at first. I'm like, oh, that's a peach ring. Yeah, it's me, like, too. I was thinking that, yeah. too. <laughs> oh. I, okay, I'm going to go with a different answer. I think chocolate. Well, we all know that chip from uh, Sonic Unleashed loves, loves chocolate. I'm sure he can oh, find God. some good chocolate candy for the Sonic characters to like. Oh, oh yes. that's right. I remember. Chocolate! Want some chocolate? <laughs> you know, for some reason, I imagine Shadow would like a dark chocolate salted caramel chocolate. Oh, I agree. Oh, nice. Yeah, Ooh, I really yeah. could. Dark chocolate I really could, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what did you say? Let's see. Uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know because like one of my favorite candies are like the Starburst and Reese's peanut butter cup. So I don't know. I mean, it's gonna take a while, I guess. Um, well, how about tails with Reese's peanut butter cup? Oh. Oh, oh yeah, that's yeah. Good one. The wise pharaoh of candy. Yeah. Well, that was, that was a really good question. Thank you, Doctor. Yeah, yeah, no problem. As you can tell what my Halloween costume is. <laughs> ah. yeah. Very good stuff. Very good. Yeah. Very good. I like that. All right. Can't time for some Halloween lore. Hi. Oh, boy. It's well, now I the, uh, you have some Halloween lore. Another car show more <laughs> hour with night. <laughs> Is it All that right. time again? It's yes, that time it again. Yes, what it more is. do you have for us? <laughs> oh, man. All right. Uh, let me... Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we can yep. hear you. Clear. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. So, uh, so I left my notes back in my office, but I know it. I got the question. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, I was Ready. just, like, trying to recap. But anyway, um, so if... Chaos emeralds are amplifiers of pure chaos energy. Are rings like distributors of that power? Ooh, like that, that's a good one. Oh wow! Um, oh, actually, hmm. I'm, I'm, I'll tell everybody stuff on so, that. Oh, yeah, on it. I, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, yeah, you're good. Um, so what uh, my thoughts were? Um, so it would explain how Sonic can sustain the super form. If it's if it's some sort of like if the rings act like some sort of energy distributor between the chaos force and the physical plane, um, they would filter in the chaos energy. I got this thought by thinking about shadows inhibitor rings at, at the same time, where um, my my thoughts on that was maybe the energy um, just it's just filtering out of his body by wearing the rings. Uh, once he takes it out, once he takes them off, um, it just all condenses into in his body because he's basically pure chaos. So yeah, that was that was my thoughts. Wow. Okay. Uh, Sean, the card player, do you have any uh, response to that? I have a lot of thoughts. Uh, <laughs> um, I am a. I I think I've mentioned this before on a couple things. I am a lore whore when it comes to, like, Sonic stuff and everything like that. So, like, anything that has anything to do with... The one thing I am looking forward to this year as far as, like, uh, like physical stuff is that Encyclopedia. Oh, like, yes! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> I am so ready to be like, well, Sonic didn't... No, let me explain to this. Page 53, here we go. Let me... No, um... <laughs> As far as I think, yeah, definitely the rings are on that. Because the one thing that was in Sonic X, I don't really think any, off the top of my head, any other medium kind of really showed, 
is that if you touch a Chaos Emerald, it's not supposed to agree with you. Like, you're supposed to touch it, and then you're supposed, it's supposed to, like, when it finally touches something in Sonic X, it loses its, like, you know, like the, the one, what was it, a digger or whatever like that, and it accidentally tapped it, and it just went haywire. Things start sh shutting down. Because, again, it's Chaos Energy. It's, it's, it's uncontrollable. And I think the rings, just like much, like what, um, uh, with the shadow inhibitor rings, I think those coincide, and I think the rings in general are more of a controlling force, not so much as maybe an inhibitor, but basically just a. They're the reason why I think there's so many of them is because I think they are a separate part of the cast emeralds because they're an unlimited energy source, but which is why I think it kind of coincides with 50 rings plus the seven cast emeralds, is that I think that you need 50 rings not necessarily to... You need 50 rings to contain the energy. So you need at least 50 to contain it, because if you try to access that ability, it may... It, you know, not, not to get too extreme, but like kill you, so to speak. Right. So yeah. That's where, yeah. I think that's where the rings lie, in, at least in the, in the lore of that, is that they're part chaos energy, but like a very fraction amount of it. Yeah. Like every piece is a little bit. Um, I was thinking about it. Like I don't know. The the dra uh, in Dragon Ball the Spirit Bomb, like it just it's just like the the lifeblood of the of the planet because everything is in the Sonic universe is just chaos energy. It's everywhere. So the rings are like a physical manifestation of it. It's like the lifeblood of the Chaos Force. And I was like, yeah, that makes sense. If, if, you know, if you get a ridiculous amount of rings, you can sustain the super form. And that's why people like Sonic and Shadow and Silver can, uh, you know, exploit the Chaos powers, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> yep, and, the, and that's why the rings count down, is because that uses that energy to sustain itself. And once you don't, you revert back to your normal form or else you'll... You'll, having that been said, side note, I am absolutely still waiting for the day that we get a Super Amy. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, we already have Super Tails and Knuckles. Yeah, we're hoping for a Super Amy as well. Um, what other characters do we want to see a Super Form of? Don't we want to see Tails' flicky army of death? Or, or you know, <laughs> return? Flicky <laughs> army of death, oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, you know, that is the army that, of death. That one thing that right. missed about Thank that you, Funko Pop messed up is that they didn't include the flickies on that Super Tails Funko Pop. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. there was a Funko Pop. Missed opportunity. <laughs> okay, uh, Lucas, uh, was, was that your response, or did you have have something else that you wanted to say? Um. Oh my gosh. Um. I mean, I always felt originally that um the Sonic Rings were more of a uh your paycheck or insurance but um but yeah i feel like yeah i'm going with what uh some of the cosplayers said basically um it does work as a um uh, as an energy source to to help you um go into your super form basically which i actually enjoy and yeah that's kind of the reason why the uh, rings count down is because you're using that energy or using that power and that also applies with basically all the most of the final bosses that only allow him to play a super song which Again, it'd be nice to play a Super Sonic in like in levels, which which do happen for a few games. Um, but yeah, I like the idea of having. Um, it'd be nice. To, it would be nice if you, if you had like unlimited uh, unlimited amount of rings, so that way you can have Super Sonic like every time. But I'm sure it won't happen for a long time. Eventually it will, but probably not a long time. Okay, evil. Uh, honestly, I don't really have anything else to say on that. Uh, I got it. I got that smart. Sorry about that. Uh, my oh, phone's okay. having trouble. But um, okay. Sonic the Hostler basically covered my thoughts on that. They basically had that one covered. So. Okay, so my my only thought is okay when when the show goes on break, I want to do a like a big Sonic Lord panel. That would be a great panel. That's all, <laughs> all I got to say. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> okay, uh, Shane. Uh, well, I like to offer a little bit of a different perspective, and I, the reason why I want to say this is because I want to go back to, um, uh, way back to another source, uh, Satyam. 
Uh, if you remember in Saudi Yem, rings were uh, created by uh, Uncle Chuck, actually, uh, because he used a power stone to, in a machine to convert the power stone energy. I think rings are like a byproduct of the energy that's that comes out of this this power stone, which in my personal opinion, in my personal lore, I think power stones are the uncut, untreated, uh, un, um, con- uncondensed versions of uh, Chaos Emeralds. It's what Chaos Emeralds would come from if they were like carved and crafted and created. Ooh, that's, a, that's a good one. Uh, you know what, what do you say? Mine on that when uh, now that you mention it about the the power ring. Okay, now I'm just sitting here being being completely entertained by all, all this. I love it. <laughs> well, thank you oh, very much for, for yeah. the weekly or uh, night. No. Oh yeah, of course. Pleasure being here. See you uh, next week. <laughs> hey, I, I will say when I run when I run the world panel. Well, I would definitely want to have have you on it. That would be a, that would be a fun Absolutely. one. Oh, I would be honored. Of course, I would be there. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, next is Michael LaWolf. Yes. Usually takes Michael like a second. <laughs> That'd be good. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know you all had had your hand raised, and I'm about to wait there, but we're getting to you. <laughs> yeah. uh, Michael, if you do see the the bar at the top, mm-hmm. Oops, sorry. I'll give him a second. Yep. Yeah, it's not like always come back to him. Yeah, yeah, you said give it a second. I think it's oh, trying oh, to pop him in. <laughs> oh, okay. Yep. No problem. Okay. There, there we go. There we go. Okay. Hey. Hello, Michael. Hello. You're on the air. <laughs> Uh-oh. At the next level, we got a clear audio. Oh. Michael? Michael! Discord, everyone! Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. We both do not know what you mean. Uh, Michael, you okay there? Or do you want to type up your question? Yeah, if you'd like yeah. to type it, then by all means. Hold on, give me a second. Uh, yep. He's going to... You can get me later. Yeah. You can get me later. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, so, yeah. We'll oh, come okay. Back to you. So, we will come back to you. Uh, uh, Ver- Vercara, I know you had your hand raised for a while, so come on up. Oh, no. right. Hello. Hello there. Hello. Hi there. Hi. Hi. So, what's up? So, what do you think, what do you think about the new character, Belle, the Tinker. Oh, from the IDW yeah. comic, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, mm. Um, uh, yeah, I saw it at the cosplay. I'll start with you. Oh. Huh. Well, one, besides being absolutely adorable, uh, I... It's, it's one of the uh, first characters besides Sonic that I actually wanted to build. Like, I just, I, I want to build a little bell. And just, I don't know how, but, um, I think she's, <sighs> I'm actually really intrigued to know where, where, where her story is going to end up going. Because right now it's, I feel like it's kind of in the middle filler period at this point. And I am very excited to see where she's going to go with that. With, with her with her story i think she definitely oh i'm sorry no do um i'm sorry were, were you finished uh showing the card player or, or or did you add any more <laughs> oh, okay uh lucas um uh, oh my gosh um wow um i'm not again i'm not familiar with anything from the iw comics so um I had nothing to say about it, so I'm going to move on to Eagle. <laughs> yep, uh, Eagle. Uh, I don't, I guess I'm, I'm still like, uh, I'm still on the fence when it comes to, um, Bell. Like, not that she's like a bad character or anything. I'm trying so hard not to be like negative Nancy over here. Mm-hmm. Um, 
but okay. I don't know. I think I, me personally, I think that we just need we need to see um a little bit more because um I recall and Bell's per like the freshest character out of all the new ones so far. And it was only it was very very jarring for me uh when you know where they want us to, like really empathize with her with and like you know um and all the tearjerker stuff like it, it it'd be easier once we get to know her more so it was during then but i'm i'm ready for what what's next for the character at least once we have it more established like um you know like tangle and whisper and everyone else uh so i'm a little optimistic about it yeah, I'm, I'm up there with us. What's on Cosmo said? I really am kind of interested to see what direction they're going to take Bell in because so far, I want to know more. It's like I want to know more, you know? <laughs> they're kind of they're kind of leaving us hanging here for a little bit, but it'll pick up, you know? I have my I have full confidence. Uh, for me, I, I fell in love instantly when I first saw uh, I'm in here. Her, I, I love her design, I love, love her character. I, I like it pretty much what everybody said. I, I'm very, very excited to see where this goes with her. So, Shane? Okay, so I can't make too much judgment because unfortunately I end up missing a good chunk of the issues after the Metal Virus Saga, so I only saw as far as her introduction and the and the latest and the latest issue with her in it, with uh, Dr. Starline and all that, but other than that, I was missing a good chunk where I didn't get a chance to really know her, so I can't really answer except for the initial impressions that she seems kind of interesting. But that's all I can really say at this point. She's an interesting looking character and, um, you know, I would like to know more at some point. And the do you say? Mm -hmm. I have to pass. I, I have no idea what you guys are talking about. <laughs> Sorry. That's, it. that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Well, yeah. well, thank, you. thank you very much, Tara. Welcome. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you, too. Okay. Uh, Michael said I, he got it worked out. All Try right. again. All right. Let's hope. Uh, okay. Well, hello. All right. Is, Is that it? working? Yay! Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Finally! Hey! Go. Very good. Discord, Mina. So, what's up? Not much. So, oh, since it's that time of year, what is the scariest moment in the Sonic series to you? Oh, that's a good one. Uh, Sonic the Cosplayer? Oh, yeah, no, give me a minute. Skip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good question. Did we... Did we want to come back to you after after I after Lucas answers his question, or did you, did you just need like just a moment? I think uh, I just yeah, 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 you, yeah. Just come back to me. I'm thinking. I'm thinking over okay. process. Like, a bunch of Ooh, media. okay, no problem. Uh, Lucas. Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, that depends on uh, what what you're referring to. You mean like um, in general or just the games? Because um, um, I I I do have a few. Um, ideas about what's what's what, what's what's scary about the Sonic community. Um, I know when I played Sonic Heroes, when I first got to Hang Castle, um, the pumpkin ghosts when they first popped out, they looked terrifying, with the, with like the jack o' lantern face and the and and the clo <laughs> the cape. I I thought they looked scary, like whoa, like I never seen that pop out before. Um, but yeah, I know that the um. I didn't think the um, SHG ghosts were that were, were that scary, but the Hankcastle ghosts, they were terrifying. Mm. Uh, yeah. Uh, can, I also have, <laughs> can I also have a pass? Only because it's so broad. Like, uh, I can't pick between right now if it's, like, from the game, from Archie, IDW, whatever. Okay. Uh, yeah. Dush? Probably the first time I saw Perfect Dark Guy. It's just like, yeah! Like, this is... No, thank yeah. you. It looks something out of Resident Evil when you think about it. I was thinking, yeah. I'm like, that looks like some Lovecraft looking stuff. It's like, Ugh. no thanks. All right. <laughs> uh, for me, I'm trying to go ahead. Yeah, well, the thing was like, like when it grows these other arms and spews out like green Vulcan blood, it was like, Ugh. not only was it gross, but it was also like, 
oh my, like what monstrosity is this? So like, for me, oh, I'm sorry, I did, yeah, audio delay. <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. Uh, yeah, uh, so uh, um, go ahead, Kevin. Yep. Uh, so for me, it's gonna be that intro movie of Sonic Unleashed, like the, when Eggman caught him and like you know he's supersonic and he forces him back into regular form. Like, man, Sonic. That got really dark and scary in a hurry. I'm like, wow, I, I've never seen uh, Sonic like like that before. I mean, I've tried to do the Sonic and Sonic X, and that's a completely different scene altogether. Uh, but yeah, Shane. Uh, I'm going to, I, I want to name several different sources here because uh, there's just like, uh, this one of those things that I can't put down to just one. It's got to be one from different categories. Uh, in the comics, in Archie comics, it's got to be when Sonic was roboticized and became Mecha Sonic. That was scary. And just, you know, watching him just destroy, you know, the village and all that, that was, you know, scariest thing in the series. Um, in the IDW, it's definitely the Metal Virus Saga. Oh, my God. Yeah, uh, I have to agree with you there. <laughs> That that got intense, dude. Especially during, towards the very end there. Um, yeah, it seemed like they were gonna lose everything. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's Ooh, see. I actually have one. Uh, for animation, I think it's when Sonic became Dark Sonic in uh, uh Sonic X. Oh yeah, I I've never seen Sonic like that before ever. And I guess that that's kind of comparable to the video game where he, the video game version where he turned into, um, oh shoot, um, oh my god, I forgot the name you of the form of now. Sonic the Werehog? No, not the Werehog, uh, from Sonic and the Secret Rings. Uh, Dark Spine Sonic. Dark, Dark Spine Sonic. Sonic, thank you. You're welcome. That, that seemed comparable at that point, because it seemed like it was a Zimmer premise. That it was focusing on the negative energies of Sonic because he got so pissed off, so mad that it's just like you don't see Sonic like that too often. He he doesn't get pissed off like that. So and uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. That's okay. Uh, but yeah, I I think that's pretty much what I can uh, chalk it up to at this point. Right. And what do you say? And then I'll, I'll come back to Sonic the Pod Player. Okay, so there's one thing on my mind. I mean, because it's been such a long time ago. And for the record, it was my first time playing it. Um, the thing that was kind of kind of scary was the uh, Sonic 3, uh, Sanopolis Zone, in which you go inside the, the pyramid. That, well, it looks like a pyramid. And then there's those ghosts following you. And so... I just, at first, it's like when you light up the, the torch, they don't do nothing to you. But as, like, like when it's the light dims down, and it's and it's like uh, it looks kind of, uh, the the ghost like kind of try to attack you. That one that one part, I got scared. That I actually had to turn off uh, my computer because back then um, I was using an emulator playing Sonic Three. That was my first time playing it, and I got scared silly. Mm. So, and finally, uh, Sonic Cosplayer, coming back to you. Yeah, those ghosts are no joke. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd say it's one of those things, it's... After uh, Remix mentioned it, yeah, it's... Without a doubt, almost every single issue of the Metal Virus Saga was frightening. Um, as far as like a, as far as like a, a moment, yeah, no, the Metal Sonics or the Metal Virus Saga is easily the, the scariest thing. But as far as like an experience, um, it's it, it, like a, like a different thing. It would easily be when I was six playing Sonic 2, getting into the Death Egg Zone with no rings and having to fight Metals or Silver Sonic and the Death Egg Robot with no, no no memorization of patterns, no nothing, and just being just, like, sweating bullets. Just absolutely sweating bullets. 
frightening. Very frightening. <laughs> oh, I feel that. Well, th thank you very, very much for your question, Michael. I would agree. You're one. very much welcome. So we have one more hand raised here, and it is Disco. This other thing, Dev. Uh -huh. yeah. It'll take a moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Disco. If you see the uh, in uh, but. Can't yeah, speak later today. If you see the see the bar at the top, uh, that it stops for I I forget what it said. Discord, everyone. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Let's see, it's typing. Oh, you don't see it. Hmm. Okay, no, that was weird. Um, if if you're having trouble and you want to type your question, that's fine. Uh, yeah. Okay. There we go. Yay. Oh, there we go. Welcome in. So, my question was cosplay related. Uh, okay. What's your, uh, uh, it's not actually cosplay, what's your, um, what do you recommend yeah. for things like, um, sewing machines or materials or things like that? Just, you know, what, what, uh, would you say is the best stuff? out there to make uh, costumes with. Foam. <laughs> All foam. Any foam. Craft foam. EVA floor foam. High-end foam. And any foam is your friend. It's bendable, moldable, sandable, paintable. You can make things out of it. You can form things. You can... It's heat-treated. You can... It's waterproof on most occasions. It's soft, it's light, I mean, it's the best stuff in the world. Like, any any foam. The green foam that's usually made out of fursuits, anything. It's, it, yeah, foam. <laughs> and funny you mentioned that, um, some of the cosplayers that, um, not only do I have a fursuit, but you mentioned green foam for fursuits. My fursuit is also green. Like the outside or the inside? Um, outside. Well, basically, um, it's it's mostly green with a with with a, some white and a small pink cuff hair. His name is Hox Gamer. Nice. I'm su I'm sure you've seen it before. His eyes are similar. But yeah, um, so sort of same. But yeah, sort of the same thing. Um, agree with I agree with some of the cosplayer. Um, I'm also a cosplayer, but I never make any costumes. I just purchase them online. But yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much for your question, Disco. Nice. Um, and Sonic did post a question in the uh, discussion chat. Um, favorites. I may have a question here in chat. What's your favorite Sonic game? My Sonic uh, 6, Sonic Generations, and Sonic Unleashed. We've we've already answered yeah, that question we, before. We, we're going to skip that question because we covered this before. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. We, we will have to pass on that. All right. With all those hands being, being, no more hands being raised and the, uh, or, excuse me, Judy's audience question being answered by the big way tonight, I believe we are ready to announce the results of our cosplay uh, contact is that right, Shane? Yes. Uh, give me just a moment. We're going. I'm going to pull those Ooh. those um those costumes up here real quick on the screen so that we get a chance to see everybody's posts and stuff. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me just get the um thing on screen here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm also <laughs> just for just for kicks. I decided to put my uh uh. Sonic vampire artwork on there on the screen here, <laughs> which is funny because we actually showed off the, the last show. Now I've talked about it last show. I know, I know. I brought it up last show and we talked about it. Yeah. So, uh, pictures we got here. We got uh, Knight. This is this basic. Uh, thing he just wanted to participate more more or less. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, Sonic Kid. This is Anne the Eevee 
Oh, that is such adorable. <laughs> yes, it is. And then we got Delta. <laughs> nice. I love how I really like how he has his um um he has like a voxel of uh, candy and, and money, which actually looks amazing. Oh uh, yeah, he took that picture uh, back up here. I'll show that on screen here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I love it, man. I love it too. Um, I, I know that um, she didn't post the sign, but I actually do want to give an honorable mention to uh, Danny the Light. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Danny the Light here. This is uh, she just wanted to post this up because she wanted to. Uh, she uh, apparently post uh, did this last week, but because uh, she doesn't have a sign and this is not uh, done tonight. Oh. Uh, she's not technically qualified, but she just wanted to show off her costume, which is fine. Yeah. You know, I I love it. It it's, looks it's cute. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So those are our only entries tonight. I I was I'm a little disappointed that we didn't have more entries, but you know, it's kind of a last minute thing. Well, maybe we'll have something mm -hmm. more better like next year. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, with that being said, who is our winner? So let's do our runner up because we got prizes for both the winner and the runner up. And I think our runner up is going to be Delta. Yeah. Congratulations, Delta. Yeah, definitely. Very nicely done, Delta. We, yes. We love, we love it. And then our winner is going to be Anne. Hey, yeah. congratulations, congratulations Anne. Anne. You are a winner. So, Ladise. Can we go to you for a second to tell us what the, the, the prizes are going to be for our two winners? Yes, um, one is, uh, oh, let me pull this up. And if you want, you can post the pictures in the, uh, the, the, the cosplay thread so I can pull yeah. them up. Yeah. Um, well, let me yeah. pull this up because we need that. Hmm. Start with the, run who's going to, who the runner up, what the runner up is going to get. Yeah. Okay, okay. Just hold on. Uh, that would be the silver Funko. Okay, Delta, you're going to be getting the silver Funko Pop. And all I got to say is, it's no use! <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure you make lots of use to... I'm sure you make lots of use for it. <laughs> As for the first prize, is the uh, Sonic the Train. All right. And the Eevee, you get Sonic. That All That's right. awesome. Well, well, congratulations to our winner. Let's give him a nice special round of applause. Yay. Hey. All right. So, Shane, I believe we have one more thing. Would yes. you like to go ahead with that? I sure would. Guys, you're you're not going to believe this, but I have an official announcement concerning Sonic Revolution Online 2022. Uh, we will be having it the weekend of October 29th and 30th, 2022. Ooh, Halloween weekend. Halloween oh, weekend. Boy. All right. Well, I look forward to seeing you all there. Mm -hmm. Same. Yes. Um, all righty. Well, that is going to close off our show for, for this week. Yep. So, Shane, when is the next show? Our next show is going to be Friday, November 5th. All right. Well, we look forward to seeing you all there. Uh, thank you, everyone, for tuning in. And yes. thank, thank you all of our show members for coming on and thank yes. you for Sonic the Cod Fire for coming coming on to the show tonight. Yes. Thank you very much for having me. Very it, very very honored. Thank you. Yes. Thank, thank you very you. much. Uh all right guys, that's it for our show tonight. Be sure to stick with us for next week. We'll be back on Friday, November 5th at 10 p.m. And remember, it's not radio. It's a revolution. revolution. Yay! <laughs> Good have a great and ha sorry, sorry. Go, go have ahead. a great night, everybody. And happy, night. Halloween. Happy, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Everybody. Happy Halloween.
Happy Halloween.